Okay. So, we ready to go? Yep. Pretty much. So, I've just penciled in like a 10 lap run here. Whenever you are comfortable with the car. Before we do quality sims, we're probably going to have to do only one quality sim because of the time. It's a bit freaking loose, isn't it? Um, should we call that the end of the run and just take some comments from you, bud? Uh, yeah, so high speeds, like, um, I don't even have corner numbers. Um, so turn 16, 17, 18, pretty oversteering. Um, mainly, yeah, purely limited by rear. Um, same as turn three, four, five, um, initial turn-ins and so on, um, are pretty neutral and always have to have a very smooth input on, on turn-in, um, have to be very gradual and not kind of combine too much, uh, brake and steer at the same time, but, uh, once you kind of get through the entry phase of these corners, then, uh, the mid corner is not too bad. Um, if it was very soft... Well, compared to previous setups I've driven, so like when I hit an apex curb, the whole car bounces a lot. So it also then feels quite lazy. Even though it's neutral on entries to of a like higher medium speed, it also feels quite lazy on change of direction from like 3 to 4, 45 and so on. Um, slow speed, uh, a lot of front locking. It feels like the front wheel is possibly in the air because, I don't know, because it feels quite soft. So a lot of front under rotations and as soon as you have one front under rotation you just you just the whole car starts sliding and you're just screwed basically so um, yeah I've gone quite rid on brake balance um, uh, 56.2 I already went I tried a bit further rearwards but even now on 56.2 I had a big rear lock up into turn one on lap tw in on lap one in turn 12 that's why I spun um, so yeah, that's like the most important thing is to avoid the lockups into the slow speed, um, and instantly gain one, one and a half tenths just by not under rotating or not sliding the car. Then I would say traction, I struggle with quite a bit, very snappy, quite unpredictable out of one, uh, nine, uh, 12 and turn 20. So what I suggest is we try and do a quality type run now. Okay. Um, so pretty much just exactly what you did. Uh, and then we just get a very quick look at the high fuel car after that. Four tenths. Sorry, poor language. Sorry. Commander, I think we've got time for one more attempt and then we've got. Yeah, that's all i got fuel for anyway. It must have been Tailwind, right, Jeff? Always is. It always is. <laughs> Who would have thought I'd be working with Jav on iRacing, huh? In the 43s? Nah, it was awful lap, mate. Yeah, well, I didn't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, but my optimal was 43.5. Yeah. I was 
my, on my turn one, I was five tenths up on my first lap. Um, the the tires take a little bit longer to come in, I think, for like high speed. So I improve in high speed on my second push, um, like turn four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, but uh, slow speed's better on uh, lap one. And what what's the limitation? Is it the rear on the second lap and low speed? Um, it's just very snappy. Um, hence, like the spins, basically, it's just very, like very peaky grip. It's really good, but if you go a bit over, you just spin. Um, and it's just super easy to lock up as well. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to the race uh, setup then. All right. Nice. Just feels amazing when you get a corner right. It's incredible. Um, sorry, go ahead with the high fuel. Um, high fuel, so car was generally more stable. Um, I guess because I don't know, it felt like less power out the corners. Um, acceleration felt worse. So it was a bit more controllable out of the slow speed. Um, I felt like I just had to drive the car a lot slower in general. Um, it felt even more lazy, even more prone to front locking. So I just needed to, yeah, every uh, input I made had to be just very delayed. Um, and much slower than I wanted to. Uh, apart from that, it, the general balance didn't feel too bad. It felt reasonably good. Uh, high speed, yeah, it wasn't as um, unstable as quality setup. I think that's probably because I'm approaching like turn uh, 16, 17, 18 slower. Um, so then the rear is not as much on the limit out of or throughout this phase. Slow speed balance was generally fairly similar. It's fairly similar to Q runs. I didn't really feel any deg, to be honest. Um, I think it took me a few laps to get used to the high fuel anyway. But yeah, nothing felt particularly bad. I think the thing you're gonna have to be careful of, or I'm gonna have to be careful in of in in the race, is um the slow speed exits. Like out of turn nine, especially, super easy to lose the rear. Out of turn one, as you go downhill, um, or as you go uphill out of turn nine, both of these, or out of turn twenty as well. So anytime there's an incline or a decline on the exit and under traction, um, the rear becomes very unstable. Interaction is pretty cool.